It's been a long time. Let me check YouTube. So let's time travel back. Three years back to be precise. It was the July of 2018 and just like any other ordinary kid, I was a 10th standard student and I used to pass every exam with a reasonably good grade. Um, usually A. Yeah. In school, I used to love doing science experiments and talk over new science discoveries with my friends who were really interested in uh, discussing uh, any new discovery or science invention. I personally was very fond of the idea of fiddling with things and trying out something new. And eventually, that phase came when every relative starts calling you to know how you've been preparing for. Confused? I'm talking about the 10th examination that used to happen before all the straight promotion work that happens today due to the pandemic. Oops, I think I got carried away with the current situation right now. So let's jump back in. And long story short, I prepared well for my board exams with uh, uh, pressure mounting from both school and relatives. I did feel like it was very burdening at that time, but little did I know what was coming up in 12th was way above it. So my exam got over and I passed 10th with a mere 91%. Now most of you might start getting judgmental that I was not a very serious person for getting a 99% like most uh, school toppers would do, or I was a very hard a working person to get 90 plus grade, but in reality, I felt that this achievement that most people congratulated me for didn't even feel like an achievement that I truly worked for. It was probably my school's effort and the guide that I was asked to mug up that made me get this. But finally, after 10th, I felt like it was all over and I could enjoy the best vacations of my life. And boy oh boy, did I know, this was a big hoax. After 10th, I had only 10 days of my holidays. And seriously, is this why everyone says they study well in 10th and uh, everything else is sorted? Anyways, my 91% got me selected to uh, study at a reputed coaching, ex um, coaching institute for competitive exams. As I always loved science, I wanted to pursue science in my 12th standard. Before I knew what, had, what even a competitive exam like JE was, I was just asked a blank question, JE or NEET? Personally, being a kid of an engineer and a doctor, I like physics and biology almost equally. But in order to select a coaching package, I had to part with my opinion of taking NEET over JE. I, to have, I, I also took an add-on of biology because I really loved it. Little did I know that what I had chosen will become one of the biggest challenges that I have ever taken. So, my classes began and right from day one, it was just Study, get ranked, study, get ranked, study, get ranked. I hope you get the point. I personally didn't like the feel, uh, I personally didn't feel like studying in the beginning as most people I had known had uh, weren't too serious either. They wanted to chill out after the 10th exams obviously. I opened an Instagram account at the age of 16 and started casually being like anyone else. Soon did I know that I would have to be start repenting about the things what I had done in the beginning. Things got serious and I was clearly not doing well in the class. Uh, once I even got caught by the teacher and got questioned why I hadn't done, uh, why I hadn't scored well in the test. The reality is I wasn't even prepared to start studying but I couldn't justify my actions of being like just any other teenager. Finally, uh, I felt really humiliated and started working day and night to just reach a comfortable place in my class. Finally, I was I got I used to get an average of 150 marks in JE means and a two digit positive score in JE advance. Well that was enough to keep my coaching teacher's mouth shut. In the middle of 11th I learned that there's something called KBPY and it is an exam that most people give for uh, pursuing pure science. Well I felt this might be the actual exam that I was waiting for. I signed up for the additional coaching exclusively for KPY in my coaching center and studied my ass off for it to do well in the first exam, that is KPY essay. Finally, the result came and to my dismay, I failed miserably. I completely broke down 
and this is when I truly understood how the hard reality of these entrance exam. I realized my failure and tried to one more time at KFS6 but again there was no luck. I felt my doors to a research career were slowly closing in front of me. But by the middle of 12th, I had a huge backlog in almost all concepts and uh, I was in the same situation that most people now text me asking for help. No matter what I did, the things remained the same. I had found refuge in getting a bare minimum at my coaching test but it was not sufficient. There was always a feeling inside of being mediocre and wanting very badly to succeed in something. But with successive failures in many exams and constant pressure from peers to do better, I was totally confused what I was really good at. Finally, the day came. I had to give my JE and I had got 95.79% in JE means Jan attempt. It wasn't too bad because I got selected to J, uh, write JE advance but I was clearly in the bottom line of most of my competitors. The JE means coaching center suddenly turn your head towards the board exam. Uh, I somehow survived my board examination with a fairly decent score. And this is when COVID hits me and we are forced to stay at home and get accustomed to online learning. And now the coaching center steps in again. Again, for this time, J advanced and they start rolling out special classes and intensive revision programs as they doubled. Towards the end, J advanced came and now I had to put two years of all my effort into six hours of strenuous exam where, which would be deciding where and what I would be doing in the next few years. Any questions sprung up in my head like did I really prepare for this? Will I even pass? What after IIT? Or what if I don't make it through? J advanced was hard and the second paper was well th it was hell. Uh, anyways in the end I ended up just getting a satisfactory score in every subject but but I missed my seat to IIT just by two marks in physics in the second paper. Thanks to the horrendous negative marking that exists in JE advance. I was totally shattered and did not know what to do. With my parents' compulsion, I somehow managed to get a seat in a decent local engineering college. But in the end, it did not feel something I really wanted. Very easy thing. I realized that I had one more chance. Uh, to prove my potential and continue uh, find a gateway to enter the science research field. It was the ICER aptitude test or the IIT for short. Well, to be honest, after days of postponement and getting a college seat, my motivation to study for another exam was fairly low. But I, ha I felt a strong need to do something or else I will be just like any other engineering student who couldn't follow their dreams. So I rose up the situation and I, for the last time I put my mind and soul into cracking the exam. Even though I didn't like the idea of cracking the exam, studying just for cracking the exam, I spent the rest of my lockdown days understanding and revising concepts and most importantly solve as many questions as possible in a stipulated amount of time to improvise my time management skills. I alienated myself from all the online distractions I had and cut short all the things that was hindering me from cracking it. Eventually, I, uh, I, I was at a stage where I was putting some substantial amount of time into my daily practice schedule. Finally, the big day came to give the ICER aptitude test that I was waiting for. After the exam, I was kind of confused. I wasn't sure whether I had done well but I felt a bit better. As I finished all my competitive exams, I was asked to work my father instead of chilling at home. You know, the common Indian parent thing. Anyways, it was a good experience. And one fine day, I got a call from my mom saying that I finally selected in the first round of ICER selection. My happiness had no bones. I was running around the house like a mad dog. And soon, I locked my seat at ICER Pune. It was hard to believe that once a lost and depressed student had finally made uh, made it through a well-reputed national college for pure science, which is ranked first in, among all the other ISIS by NIRF. This was truly a dream come true moment for me and sparked my interest and enthusiasm to do greater things. Now, some of you might be thinking why I had to narrate the entire story than just saying how to study. But my answer is, there is no secret portion or methods that I can say that guarantees one 
a seat in these colleges. It is the journey that we take that enable us to do any field. And my strong advice to anyone preparing for this entrance exam is to just believe in yourself and work towards what you re- truly love. And if your dream is backed with sufficient determination and hard work, you will surely um, bear the fruits of success at some point of time.